Earth isn't the only ocean world in our solar system. Water on other worlds exists in diverse forms on moons, dwarf planets and even comets. Scientists strongly suspect that a subsurface salty ocean lies beneath Europa's icy crust. Tidal heating from its parent planet, Jupiter, maintains the ocean's liquid state and could also create partially melted pockets or lakes throughout the moon's outer shell. In 2014 and 16, Hubble spotted possible water plumes erupting off the moon's surface, which may be excellent targets for the upcoming Clipper mission. Ganymede is the largest moon in our solar system and the only moon with its own magnetic field. Recent studies indicate a large underground saltwater ocean is present. Ganymede could in fact have several layers of ice and water sandwiched between its crust and core. Callisto's cratered surface lies at the top of an ice layer, which is estimated to be about 124 miles thick. An ocean, which is thought to be at least 6 miles deep, could be directly beneath the ice. Scientists predict that a regional reservoir about 6 miles deep lies under a shell of ice 20 to 25 miles thick at Enceladus' south pole. This underground ocean is thought to feed the moon's impressive jets with spray from deep fissures called tiger stripes in the moon's surface. In 2015, Cassini flew through the plumes and found hydrogen one of the three primary necessities for life. Titan is believed to have a salty subsurface ocean as salty as the Dead Sea on Earth, beginning about 30 miles below its ice shell. It is also possible that Titan's ocean is thin and sandwiched between layers of ice or is thick and extends all the way down to the moon's rocky interior. Research suggests that Mimas has either a subsurface ocean or that its core is shaped like a football. If Mimas is hiding a liquid water ocean, it lies 15 to 20 miles beneath the moon's impact battered surface. Active geysers on Triton spew nitrogen gas, making this moon one of the known active worlds in the outer solar system. Volcanic features and fractures mark its cold, icy surface, likely results of past tidal heating. A subsurface ocean at Triton is considered possible, but it's unconfirmed. With towering mountains of water ice and flowing glaciers of nitrogen and methane ice, Pluto is a surprisingly active world. Mysterious fault lines some hundreds of miles long may suggest that Pluto has a hidden subsurface ocean. The next video is going to be about oceans on planets around other stars. So don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified about upcoming stuff.